Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Noor Networks. In this tutorial, we will look after the administration, logging and reporting in Sophos Central. So moving on, the very first thing what you, uh, we will be seeing is about the account details. On the right side on the top, you will see this, the name of your company through which you have registered into the Sophos Central and you will see an uh, arrow where you will find a drop down menu. The very first thing what we are going to do is we will be clicking on account details. So under account details, it gives you the name, your contact information, your email address, everything about your company. Then comes the co-branding. Over here, you can define the logo as you wish. It uh, The Sofo Central says that the image width height should be 100 pixel and 60 pixel respectively the acceptable formats are being mentioned and the file size is being shown over here so you can create a company logo you will browse that particular logo from the local machine and you will simply save it so that the your company logo is being shown then comes my info over here it gives you the what is your role for your user what is the registered email address and additionally you can change the password for your account from here next comes the partner info if you have purchased a uh, sophos uh, central licenses from any of the partner the information of that sophos central partner will be shown over here along with the contact information phone and their website then comes the account preferences very first thing is enterprise management since we are into the sofa central trial licenses this option won't be available for us but let me give you the brief overview the enterprise management enable this feature to give enterprise admin the ability to manage the protection of all sofa central accounts across the enterprise then there comes up privacy basically over here you can control that which data should be sent to sofa for improving the protection and the data may leave your geographic region so like let's say for example you are located in india in that case there is a high possibility that the data whichever is being sent to sophos may be sent to some other region like uk us from wherever it is taking the updates and all so you can decide that whether you want to send the thread graphs data to sophos the intercept x data to sophos whether you want to send the logs and related file to sophos when the device is unhealthy the turning of this will stop sending all this information so as per your requirement you can decide whether you want to send it or you don't want to send and finally you have an interlink service region you can select the region you want endpoint and servers to submit files to when you ask sophos labs for latest threat intelligence choosing this option let sophos decide uh, then the, in that case the best available region will be decided for you or else additionally you can decide the region as per your wish like Asia Pacific Australia Europe and United States whatever you want it's highly recommended that you keep the uh, so let Sophos decide option for the better service and finally comes the Sophos support let's say you have created a Ticket, support ticket with the Sophos. I'm going to sh uh, show you the next how you can create a Sophos ticket. But over here you, you have you can see that you can open the remote assistance from here. Going to Sophos support over here, you will just turn on this option remote assistant, and this will give the Sophos support full troubleshooting access to your Sophos central session for 120 hours, which is equivalent to five days. Additionally, the partner assistance is also option available. This will enable your designated partner to access your Sophos Central admin portal and configure the Sophos Central services on your behalf. If you do not enable partner assistance, like if uh, right now it is not enabled. So if you do not enable the partner assistance, your partner will only see high level reporting information such as services, what you have purchased and what is your current usage status. Whenever uh, uh, Sophos Central support team asks you to enable the remote assistance. You can simply enable the remote assistance and additionally there is a unique ID for your Sophos Central account. You can just share this unique ID with the Sophos support team. It is saying that the, currently this account is located in the Ireland region. For copying this simply you can uh, click over here and the, this ID will be copied which you can share with the Sophos support team. 
and finally you will simply click over here on the save button to give the remote assistance to the Soulforce support team. Moving on, let's see how you will create a support ticket. Uh, over here in the help, uh, click over here and a drag down menu will open for you. You will simply say create support ticket over here. Over here you will be providing the details of the issue which you are facing. The username is being shown over here. The phone number is optional. If you will provide the support, support team will contact you on this particular number. Then you will define the severity of your case whether it is critical, high, medium or low. Then the product the, is the option you have. From here you have to select the option whether the issue is with the endpoint protection, a server protection, encryption, firewall management or a software central management. So you can select as whatever issue you are facing. If you check this box, it, it is saying that this will give a, a software support full troubleshooting access. And guys, this is how you will be creating a support ticket. Moving on, let's go to the overview. You have option account health check. Basically, this gives you the entire overview of your health like let's say for example whatever policies you have installed how is the policy fun functioning whether it is functional or there is any issue like let's say for example uh, for the very first thing protection install it is saying that the endpoint protection is being installed on two of your server and both are licensed at present there is no endpoint uh, i mean there is no suppose endpoint agent installed on any of the servers then comes the policy it give you the health check of all the policies over here and finally let's see the logging and reporting going to the dashboard over here uh, you have configured the web protection policy so you will see that uh, as you, have, you remember that in, during the time of the web control policy we have enabled the reporting so it is saying that seven pol uh, policy violations are blocked it gives you the detail that three of the blocks and forum Two of the blogs and forum and so on are being blocked and this is being shown over here again uh, just going to the logs and reports over here you will find the events of uh, your endpoints the auditing logs uh, at what what time you have logged into the sofos central from which ip addresses you have uh, logged in and what are the modification you have done each and everything will be shown over here you will have the history for the users for the block categories what are the one sites web control each and everything you will find the logs like in the web control policy when the web control policy came into the effect what all the block categories were there what are the one size block sites policy violations were done uh, and all those things then comes the application then when the application control policy came into the force what all the a blog application it will show the top blog application and the server user that tried to access them then the allowed applications it will show the application in your control list that will access most often and the server user that access them then thereafter you have a recover temper protection password this will show the recently deleted devices like let's say for example uh, if you have installed uh, the sofos agent or if you have deleted the device from the sofos central for any of the reason, it will show the recently deleted devices to enable the recovery of the tamper protection password. And finally, the alerts. If you uh, if any kind of alerts are being generated, it is categorized as low alerts, medium alerts, high alerts. So the alerts will, will be shown over here. In the alerts, uh, in over here, you will find the alerts. Different kind of alerts are being generated and that will be shown over here. Last thing, moving on to the endpoint protection where you have installed the computer, uh, the endpoint, so first endpoint agent on the computers, let's click on computers over here and going to the computer, you will find the events of that particular computer and it shows you the detail about the events like uh, you have uh, installed the application, you have configured the application policy where you have said that the snipping tool should be blocked. So this computer tried to access the control application MS snipping tool and it was blocked. Thereafter, it shows the list of web categories which were blocked and so on. So guys, this is how, all about the logging, reporting and the administration of the Sophos Central. 
that's all for this tutorial if you haven't subscribed to my youtube channel yet please subscribe it now and do share with your friends thanks for watching and see you in the next tutorial